Okay, what I'm going to do now is calibrate my mainstays quick response thermometer and this is just a, an inexpensive uh, analog thermometer that you can get from Walmart which is where I purchased this from so uh, I'm just going to uh, take a minute to uh, calibrate it and as you can see there perhaps it's reading it measuring in degrees Fahrenheit and if you can see that right there on the trying to center it the red lettering that is the frozen freezer test. So essentially, um, that's 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And once you get it there, that is about the uh, temperature of ice water. And this is adjustable. And essentially, you turn this knob here once you uh, make a determination that it is out of range. So I'm just going to plunge it down into this ice water about two inches. Slide it back some so that we can see it. And see where it winds up. I'm going to have to stand up to see. And it is reading almost directly on the 32. The gauge is really small, and with my poor eyesight, it is extremely difficult for me to see it. For all intents and purposes, I would say that that is just about dead on. Might be off slightly, but my eyesight is really not good enough to make that determination. So it's not as if it was reading, okay, so it's not as if it was reading 40 or 20 degrees. And the uh, fatness of the needle is, I would call that a... Uh, an issue as well. It's not really that fine in comparison to the fineness of the lines. So I would call this thing perfectly fine. Okay, so that is how you calibrate one of these. And you can see it rising now that it's out of the ice water. Let's set that aside and let's see what happens if we grasp it. There you go. Get a sucker eyes. Okay, and that was the um, mainstays quick response thermometer. And it really didn't need to be calibrated after all. And sorry about the lighting above, which is shining in your eyes and on the meter. Let's see if we can flip that off real quick. Okay. And back in the ice water. Down it goes. I would call that fairly quick response. And it seems to be pretty accurate as well. Because it's back down on the 32 it looks like all right thanks for watching and if you guys have used this let me know I've got quite a few experiments that I wish to use this for and having a nice calibrated or calibrated to the extent possible um, will lead a little more credence to the uh, the experiments all right thanks for watching bye bye